We welcome to this week's edition of Simulation Saturday. I'm your host, Bruce the Noob, here with Master J. Master J, how are you? Very good, very good on this fine Friday that we once again are playing on Friday instead of Saturday, but due to our conflicts with our schedule and what we're doing, we're playing today. Well, that always works out because we always upload this live stream to YouTube Saturday, so it always works out for right. us. It actually works out very well in case something's going on with the video. Yep. So. Oh, we should probably mention we're playing on Madden 17 now. <laughs> yeah, we are playing on Madden 17. I upgrade to a whole other year, so still a year behind, but... Oh my god. Teams. I actually thought. Well, they were a playoff team last year, weren't they? Or close to it? They were close to it. They lost in the wild card. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and it's playoffs. Technically. Technically, yeah, technically speaking. But, um. I thought for sure they were possibly going to get their first win last week against the Chargers. But. Oh, in case fans are wondering, we are uh, playing on the 18 roster, even though this is a brand new game. So. Yeah. We are at the foot of the oh my god. <laughs> Kaboot. Oh, yeah, this, this is the one thing I'm probably not going to understand. Oh. So hit X. Right here. Yeah, you just... Oh, okay, that's not that hard. No, it's not that hard okay. at all. Oh my god. That's a pretty good first kick. And Oops. off we go from Sports Authority Field. Graphics are pretty good so far for for 17. <laughs> My team looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> they look like straight poop. Like the pants are poop, and then the jersey's just corn. The corn kernels in poop. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. They go play action here on first down. And no oh. incomplete. See Eli Manning, I know. Well, took a shot there on the first play, to Misses straight off the bat. Now, even though the Giants so literally lost their entire roster the last week, uh, Bruce is going to play with the uh, Odell and Brandon Marshall just because should I it take just him? feels fair to me. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, should I just take him off? But I guess not. It but just would, I don't know. I don't even know if the Giants are going to be competitive without them. Let me just say how weird it is to not hear Phil Simms and Jim Nance 
talk to me. It's nice. It's nice for a change. This guy's voice is a lot more pleasant to me. Even though I never hear it, really. What the hell was that? Whoa! That was his adjusted play by Madden. <laughs> And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. Oh boy. Just how they wanted to start. Yeah, better have been a fluke, man. I hope. And that just <laughs> happened. How about that play right there? As you said, so far, I like the play style of it. I've only played a smidge of it, which was that that little smidge was them telling you how to do certain things. So. Oh, that was a bad kick. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh yeah, they run so much faster in this game. Get across the 20 before he's brought down. Or at least slightly faster. Slightly faster. Line. Oh, I have to hold the skip now. Yeah, you have to hold the skip now. It's kind of a weird thing to do, but <sighs> let's see what they give me to do. In the backfield is Anderson. On first down, it's Simeon. Sanders has it over the middle. A pick up there of 37. And it'll give the Broncos a first down. A lot of receivers see the drag route as a risk-reward type of a play. The risk, going into the middle of the field where there's some big people want to hit you. But the reward is oftentimes you get lost in coverage. Running a little bit underneath. And when you catch it just right as we just saw there, the end result can be a big, big play. This is looking a lot smoother than 16. Now a carry. It's C.J. Anderson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Feels smoother. Mm -hmm. You can run the ball. The That's nice. <laughs> Especially when it's on for all pro. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not want him to do that. <laughs> it's a little... I'm not going to lie. It is a little, like, flimsy. Yeah. Here's Simeon now on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw is incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. What will Joe do on third down? And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Flush to his right. Whoa. Oh, coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. Yeah. And the return goes wow. to his own. This is going to be the pace of the game for once. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his so, right and trying to play. shift the coverage. Or, but instead, he shifted the coverage. To the let's right let's play a game of for an who's Madden going to screw over. Oh, that helps me. It's the other Brandon Marshall. <laughs> That's interesting how they have that in there. <laughs> Alright, well, I got saved by Bruce, so. <laughs> And now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back out of the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. Sanders, the former SMU product, had 79 catches last year, over 1,000 yards. Five I wonder who these people are that's talking to me. In Denver if they want to get back into the playoffs. Part of a great tandem, he and Demarius Thomas, and Demarius plays out wide. He's one of those guys that you send him out there and let him work one-on-one, -on -one and uses big body and big frame to get open. Manuel Sanders, he has the ability to work inside as well, and he's not just quick, he's also fast, and he's dependable for a quarterback because a lot of the routes he runs are right in the sight line. Easy throws for a QB. Old school defensive tackle play dictated just stood up and danced with the guy in front of you. And if a guy came near, 
tackle it. New school, you don't want to just dance. You want to get past it, get upfield, and make the play in the backfield. A big time play there. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Emmanuel Sanders, a nine yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. As a former DB, you might oh. not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> all right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. And wow. you combine a big leg with a mile high air. There's the outcome. This will sail out of the end zone the for a touchback. And here comes the Giants yeah. offense back out onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide. Wow, this team sounds so much more energetic than Felton and Jim Nance. Yeah, really. A lot of people think the very announcing next time team here. Run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe they'll not play like just they're just nonchalantly reading off of the script. They actually sound like they're play calling an actual NFL game. Yes, yeah, sounds a lot better. I love the way that you described it. Paved well. Oftentimes, the guy who gets home on the blitz, he's gonna get all the credit. But his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tugged down mm, jewels to make linemen to create space and gaps. And that play finished off really, really well. Well conceived, well designed, and even better executed. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Throwing his Manning on third down. It's caught. Shepard. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. On first down, Manning. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He's thrown one interception already, and that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the game is going to go like that but it does seem that he's a little bit off in his approach to this one. Yeah, it does, and that was a risky throw right there. Got to be careful about taking care of the ball, making sure you get back within yourself. I mean, those mechanics that they work on all the time, they're there for a reason. Got to get back to those and maybe tamp it down a little bit. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. Now Manning again. And this is Shepard on the catch. It's a gain of 20 in picking up the first. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. So a loss of five, and it'll oh. be second down. Enforcement. The that must be for like a defense line, thing. Really on offense. They were just Look at do. McApoo. Ben McApoo. James Michael McAdoo on Sixers. Ah! 
So that's back-to-back -back drives where they throw an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Broncos offense now mm. gets ready to head back onto the field. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A nice pickup there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. First down, here's the run with Anderson. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. On second down, Anderson. And they'll be inside the 35. Oh, so you can break tackles, too. Yeah. All right. The they Jeremy brought Chester's back the old men. Yeah. On first down, Simeon. What the? And he rifles one incomplete. Offense looking to avoid a third and long at second and ten. Second and ten, Simeon again. Over the middle this time to Fowler. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Defense taking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Now Simeon, the complete into the hands of Fowler. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. 23 yards on the play. They'll try and run with Booker. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Here's Simeon now on second down. Oh, he dropped mm. it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Simeon on third and goal. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Back alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's mm -hmm. Bronco football. <laughs> there he is. Two. They are, however, <coughs> facing a fourth down situation. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash. And this one just a chipping. And McManus <laughs> able to put it through. Uh, but there is a uh -oh. penalty marker That's down. They might be on forced me. to try this one again. I roughed your kicker. And this is going to be roughing the kicker, an inexcusable penalty charge. That was not good for so so I know. To a three-point kick. Now you give him the ball again with a chance for a touchdown. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. All right, now look at 56. So now it's first and goal. They'll run for it with Anderson. Why do you take Nothing forever to give him the ball? Wind up holding him at the two. Ew, he's his no foot. <laughs> <laughs> I saw his That's foot. Awesome. So that Still was weird. The two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action. Definitely let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Second and goal from the two yard line. So they'll try and really? Oh, wow. <laughs> closer here. It's third and goal. Oh, 
And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. C.J. Anderson taking it in. And the Broncos have taken the lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make. That the was call. like they already had it lined up. They actually never blocked him before he hit, hit had the goal line. He never did that man in 16. No, they didn't. After the oh, touchdown, here's McManus off. now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects it. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while they hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. Oh. Something was that sucks. He had a hole there. <laughs> I know. I tried to make it good the hole, but he was like, no thanks. I want to put in the dark wah. Wah. Or is that the I forget who that. I think I know who you're talking about. I don't think he's he talking about something. Late in the ball game. He's one of those guys I know who you're talking about. I don't think he is on the Giants. And really wears people down and produces big as the game's on the line. Had some good moments for the Giants this year. Question, though, is he just a complimentary piece going forward, or can he ever be the guy? I think he can be the guy. with that? But I mm -hmm. don't think the Giants are just going to settle for that. They're going to bring in more competition and make him earn it. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Throwing his Manning on third down. Flushed out right. <laughs> I pressed the, the, the triangle, triangle, yeah. But he dropped it. And now fourth down. I guess sometimes it doesn't like it. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying yeah. things right now because they've made it very difficult oh, for them know. throughout the half. Yes. On fourth the down, new the one. Giants call on Brad Wing to punt it away. Send this away to the Rocky Mountain Knight, and it's a good one. <laughs> right at the 25 yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just Ooh. that. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Oh. As a general rule, He's saying no, no, no. Deep shot you did not take that. It's usually a timing pattern. You did not catch that ball. Looking to hit his receiver downfield, but when he has to move outside of it, timing often gets thrown off, and on that play, that caused the incompletion. Second down, following the incompletion. Back to the air, Simeon on second down. Left side here to Sanders. Damn. Ooh, he, he like. Nope. Shy of the 40, they'll mark him down at the 39. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. In the backfield is Anderson. And he'll get it up the middle. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up. No room about for you. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. That's a whole penalty. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. I know who it is, too. On you? Yep. Well, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. 
At least it's second and three. Oh, wait. Oh. No, it's you. It's you. Yeah. Uh... Staying ahead of the chains here, second and three. One out, one out. Chains, one out. To throw on second is Simeon. But he's got it complete to Fowler. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through. All that traffic, and people wanted to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? For me. Okay. Defense that was like a, the longest ball. Yeah, that's so awkward to be long. It cost him five yards. But Mac is like, no, I did not. Stop. It's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be coached no more. I hate this job. Give it back to Tom Coughlin. Tom Coughlin, please come back. He might be on his death. No. On his deathbed. <laughs> From the gun, here's Simeon. He could quite hold it. Got him. I thought he was covering the other guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. I honestly thought it was going to be wide open. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second. How many hands does he have? Here we go now. Two. I know. On second down, here's Simeon. Sanders has it over the middle. And the stop here will come at the 38 yard line. Well, it looks like from that angle, it looks like he has a tool. Still five fingers. And certainly a valuable tool to have in your kit, Emmanuel Sanders, and he's shown us quite a bit in this one. And that's why they want to use him immediately. You know they come out of the locker room saying, let's get the ball to him, get our offense jump started, and in this case, it's worked throughout the game. Thus, they have the lead. Rolling to his right. And complete into the hands of Fowler. It's a gain of 20 that time. And it's a first down for the Broncos. Look at how defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. I love that move, but he took a while. All right, here we go. Green, 39. From the red zone now, Simeon. A dump off to Anderson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So a minute 55 to go in the first half. Back to Denver right after this. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he is caught with the seven-yard line. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll run Anderson. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Oh, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Again, Anderson, and he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. C.J. Anderson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Broncos will extend their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. 
I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And New York set to take the field. Oh, it's and his favorite song. A three and out, my friend. I can barely hear what, what, what song is it. WWE, like. Uh, I think it's one of their event themes. Sounds like it. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shape things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked so something well. else. And maybe you try. And got his man complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Throwing on first down is Manning. And it pops free. The collision there. Oh, I thought he had. Why is the clock not Oh, okay. Because he dropped uh, it. I thought he say. had it. I was going to say, like, that's cheap. I'm posting triangle. I want to redo the play. I'm like, why can't I do it? Now and then, they don't come down with the football. Second down now after the incompletion. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Manning going to throw. Wide open receiver complete. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, here's Manning. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And it's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the offense has it first and 10. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Manning. What? What? Oh. <laughs> what? We'll get the football back. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offense. I can actually facing, pick the ball in this game. It's man, nice. <laughs> saying, let's try and get some more points. And Denver getting set to take the field. After the interception, you're set. What? And that'll be incomplete. C.J. Anderson, the intended target. That's and it's second I didn't know how far back I was. <laughs> My coach has always talked about communicating on defense, making sure you talk on defense, know where your screens are, know where the cuts are coming from, who has who. Well, guess what? It's the same thing in football. Even though there's more noise out there, you can hear all the screams of screen, screen. It's defense. The now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Fresh set of downs here. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Simeon. And it's caught over the middle by the tight end, Green. And he is down mm. deep into giant territory. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, it's Simeon sliding out of the pocket. Did he get the kick? Wow. Yes. Touchdown. Virgil Green in the final seconds of the first half. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, 
Let's see if they decide to kind of squeak kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Just a four-play drive that time, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Ooh. <laughs> that was brutal. That was all kinds of brutal. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. One receiver left, three to the right. One final try now for Manning. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on down to our studios in Orlando, where standing by is Larry I'm actually Larry not that quite surprised on the score, considering I'm Larry Ridley. The Broncos are happy to be sitting in the locker room team, with the lead. No, this I isn't do. the real-life Giants right now, which oh, no, probably yeah. be even more screwed. Yeah, no, by far, right, definitely. Here's a look at the first half highlights. But I mean, Giants even if up on the Giants were at full health, full this strength. one play, I was like, "Whoa!" And this two-play drive goes for a touchdown. They strike first in the half. Now first and ten. Sanders has got nobody around him on the catch, and he'll be tackled at the 41-yard line. The offense would later throw a pick to him the drive. Offense out now following the INT. Under pressure here, the ball is picked. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wrong Brandon Marshall, too. Offense now with the shot after the pit. Sanders will make a They said the other Brandon Marshall. That's what they said. Back up in seven. Now to the middle of the first. The pass ends up being picked off. Parks is the one who makes the pit to give a boost to his defense. After the INT, offense comes out now. Anderson's going to dart up the middle. He'll take it in for the touchdown. That takes the lead up to seven. Broncos take it at the one. Anderson's going to stay inside after the handoff, and they cap off the drive with a touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. First well, I better 10, highlight rule the 16. defense will come up with the pick. Roby's the one who makes the pick yeah. to give a boost. Yeah, I don't remember defense. how 16 had their... Offense on the field like now this. after the pick. Out of the shotgun, pass will be completed. And that goes as a 10-yard touchdown. The lead grows to 21. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando. For the call of the second half, let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. All right, let's get back to it. Teams appear ready for the Short. fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Whoa. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. CD, wanted to get your thoughts just on the landscape of the offseason for each of these teams. Super Bowl in the rearview mirror, but so much going on. People look at the All right. a lot, But there's a lot more that goes into the offseason for these front offices, is there not? It certainly is. And then even before we get to the draft, you start with the combine. You know, it's held in Indianapolis every year, and you have about 350. 50 of the top prospects coming together to get their physicals and interviews and on-field performance and all that will get evaluated along with their game tape. 
and then you've got the free agents. All right, that starts, I believe, in early March, where now the free agents can start moving around to different teams. So your team's starting to take a little bit of shape there, free agency, because then the draft's coming up. You're trying to put your team together with new draft picks, have everyone start to start to move in one direction, and then you have the OTAs and mini camps. You get to see them on the field for the first time, and we start to get a better idea of how these teams are going to look when the fall begins. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh shot of downs. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where the ultimate team. Is going to be when he's setting oh, it's off out. No, this Sometimes isn't bad. No, we're just playing. Like, we don't do that stuff. We just play Simulation Saturday for Madden. That's, like, literally the only thing we do. Yeah, we use basically the same rosters as the NFL would have for every team. We don't mess around with the uh No, Madden Ultimate, Ultimate team. Team's like a uh, fantasy thing. Yeah. I, think. I never done it before myself. They're high. He goes underneath for Anderson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give him 13 on the pick up there. Uh, those have an interesting concept. It appears but they found something that's working, and they keep going back to I've it. I've never tried I guess it, you so. can actually say I know, I know with the Madden tournaments, now, yeah, well, that's, that's what they do. They use the, the uh, Madden well, Ultimate teams. Times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply, if you get it to him in space, more times than not... Did my guy just, like, zip across and not want to tackle? I didn't direct that pass. <laughs> and it'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw with Simeon. Over the middle this time to Fowler. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That catch good for five. It's third down. And they brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. I ever just so slightly tap the stick and he decides I'm gonna do this yeah no problem you know too quick to the trigger that time I mean it's a very interesting feature but Bruce I know Bruce wouldn't be into it I, I, I want to know how to work it actually I mean I feel like it would yeah, be fun it's to like do. cards. Like you get a certain amount of cards. Right. You can buy them on auction and stuff like that. 2K does the same thing. Okay. And he's just gonna throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game, and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run. How long has a mile from the team been in I don't know. I don't know. I think since like maybe 14, play. maybe. Maybe you try and run the football 15. a little bit more in this spot. It seems like a very new concept. Feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Forced oh. out to his left. Oh my god, he cannot run. Or is it doesn't and seem like he can run very much down. at all. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. Now play number eight on this drive. And they Man have 11 yards to pick up oh, the first on third. Here's Simeon. And that is incomplete. Virgil Green is tied so far in the away. intended receiver. And well, that like fourth so long ago, man. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the inline. So it'll come out to the 25. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They're getting Eli this Manning. Game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here. Do you think he two. lives in his brother's shadow? For them. Point. And you know, at the half, they discussed. I don't know. I mean, they both have two rings. It's hard to actually argue about that. Most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they, they use. They do have their own legacy. Let's look ahead for a quick one. 
one, I think, had more of the a schedules uh, yet for next year, but what we do have the better the five international games that will be played in London and then one again in Mexico, Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, New Orleans. <laughs> what? <Minnesota, laughs> Rams, that was so piss poor at tackle. Mexico's going to get a great game. The Raiders and New England. Yeah, you're exactly right. And just think about the ones in London. Remember, they're splitting them between the two different stadiums yep. in London. So they get a different flavor in all these places. But Mexico, for the second straight year, the Raiders are coming to town. That should be a whole lot of fun. Should be a ton of fun and a very good matchup. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And incomplete. Mm. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I'm no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Oh, it goes somewhere. Should have called that uh, a 51-yard punt that time. And the that offense catch. will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes this field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's fallen off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually... There's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone Plus you that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my well, man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. Second down now after the pass completion. Roll left. Roll left. Here we go, to throw on second is Simeon. Sanders has it over the middle. That catch good for five. It's third down. So completion on second down. That brings up third. And quickly they get to the line. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Damn. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. On first down, Simeon. And Green with a catch left side. Ooh. And he's got some space here. The <laughs> you <laughs> you the <laughs> that missed tackle. That if you didn't go out of bounds, you would have been in that end zone. So. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Thomas, the lone receiver left. They go play action here on first down. He'll buy That's some time ball. right. And too much juice. See an all-pro, if you're of off your feet, you're going to be very inaccurate. Oh, there's a fight going on. One, but oh, no. That's they, uh, the exact right throw. Up. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it, no one got it. Back to the air, Simeon on second down. And he's got it, complete to Fowler. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Now let's go. Throwing on third down. Simeon. And complete into the hands of Fowler. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. And give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, up, completed it very well. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right, and his throw here is incomplete. Above the line. Uh, oh, well. Pass. Offense. How many yards is that? I don't even know. Ah, it's not too bad. 
And the QB steps over the line of scrimmage. That's an illegal forward pass. And that is so rare because of the different positions. You have to know different things. Wide receivers have to know where the He's first actually right. line I, is. It's very rare nowadays I ever see a line of forward is. pass. Throwing again is Simeon. He's going to cop that. Got the interception. Nope. He's like, nope. I don't want to. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Third and long. It's Simeon escaping the pressure right. He's got his man Oof. here. It's green. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. And the offense inside the five here at the. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. Devontae Booker, a three yard touchdown run. And the Broncos add on. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And New York set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Manning oh. over the middle to back him. And he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there. <laughs> Here's a tender just brings up third was down. not there. He knows well as I do. He was there, he just forgot about the ball. <laughs> he was there, right? the first time that Eli Manning was able to find him, and we're in the second half. You think he and Eli maybe had some words on the sideline? Hey, let's get on the same page. Without a doubt, because they know that that kick starts their team. That, gets them oh, that was me. Do it again oh, well. and again as we go down the stretch. An incomplete pass certainly doesn't look like a good play. <laughs> For the guy throwing it today, as many interceptions he's thrown, he's got to feel a sigh of relief that the ball actually hit the ground and didn't go in the other direction. Fair catch, signal four, and taken at about uh, the 15. Right back. Welcome back right. now to Denver. All right, guys, we're taking a short break. All right, back from a quick 30 second. Ready to resume. And this is a blowout so far as we get set 
for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. They come up in an offset eye. They go play action here on first down. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. He Ooh. couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. But they went for the big play there. But that drop could really hurt their momentum. So second and ten here. Another pistol look here. Second and ten. Simeon again. Flush to his right. He goes underneath for Anderson. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Seven yards remain now on third down. Throwing on third down, Simeon. Simeon. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> what was that? Get on the completion. It's fourth down. That was no dumb. The offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Broncos going on fourth. It's Simeon. Of course. He's got his favorite target yeah. yet again. It's complete. The Broncos are going to convert here on got fourth. On that. Oh, and the Giants are going to take over in great field position. So a risky, risky move that does not pay off. And Charles, you take it from the defensive perspective. They had to be a little offended there that they even tried to go for it back inside their own 20. Highly offended. And oh, come on. Tonight, it's an interception. And how about this? It's the other Brandon Marshall that picks it off. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant nice. all game long. The pass rush, the coverage. They've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. Flushed out right. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board. But we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Simeon now to throw. Whoa! That was a bad throw. Have that was a bad throw, yeah. On first and ten, Simeon eluding the pressure right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. And on second and ten now. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Simeon. Mm. And that'll be incomplete. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. Again, Simeon. And that will be incomplete as well. So close. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here we go on fourth. Simeon, he's got his man here. It's green. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Both 
both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try to keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. They run with Anderson. He's been the bell cow tonight. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Dominique Rogers cromartie up to make the tackle. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Back to throw, Simeon. And he puts that one incomplete there. After that throw, and it was definitely one that he it would was even to too low for me to pick off. I wonder what's going through his head. I wonder what kind of mind game he's playing with himself to get himself back on track. Because a lot of guys, that's what they do. They have little right, triggers that when the mechanics are off, or if they make a bad throw, that they go to that place. Oh, oh. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. And now they're in the hurry up. First and goal. Defense with their backs against the wall. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. On second down, here's Simeon. This will be caught at about the oh, What? <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> he's holding on to him as he's going in. That was funny. Oh, it's not scales, right? I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune That's being warbled? I like the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's, she's doing building it, it out she's right going. now. She's full bore. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> trying to kill your players, dude? <laughs> Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over uh, here. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Manning again here on second and ten. And my goodness. My gosh. A great read and it's picked off. And they're going to take over right there at the 22 You like suck. Line. The you know why I don't want to be him. Yep. Continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just oh, one guy's fault. Oh, he's got to get caught. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Oh man, he could have caught that. Ooh, you're right. He could have. Could have caught that. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Second and ten, Simeon again. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. In the backfield is Anderson. Simeon wants to throw on third and one. And able to find Jeez. Green. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. And they're going to speed things up here. Now Simeon. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him. Where's his fingers? Does he have his fingers? <laughs> he blew him up. <laughs> Wait a second. He had five fingers.
time for a break. All right, guys, two minutes left in this god awful game. Well, if you're the Giants, it's god awful. If you're Broncos, and, well, you know how that's going. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Simeon rolling to his right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third oh, down. And on that last play there, leg. he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right play. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And now he's at that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he's to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one of she's our guys. singing too. Oh, no, she's singing. She, yeah. She's, at she's least, on like the fifth tune. At yeah, this she, she left scales way behind. But he's to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. That'll be taken in the end zone. <laughs> and in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, boom. I want to see something executed it was well the before boom. we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And he hits on the slant route to Marshall. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Manning. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. It looks like a well, then. yard loss there on the first down sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On third and long, it's Manning. How does this happen? I'm not used to this because this never happened in the last Madden. Ball would bobble up in the air before they ever got really dropped to the ground. Game's a little more unforgiving, I think. I think so too. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it, but it just tells you about the game of football. Oh, he dove too early. Some people dive too early. Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game. There goes Green, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clencher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. McManus now for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Oh. 
Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. <laughs> And New York set to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. I'm gonna forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah. Use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize that pass was deflected and everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Now Manning. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And that one was knocked away. And I think the defenders are going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football. But that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had someone open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. And that one drops to the ground, incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Manning, got to have this one. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Thomas, the lone receiver left. That one looks like he'll throw here. A dump off to Anderson. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make it second down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here we go with second and seven. Here's Simeon now on second down. And he'll it. And that'll fall incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. He's got his man here. It's green. Okay. Well, I don't know why there's a flag on the last play of the game, but they really want you to... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The game's over with. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that game gave me cancer. That was a cancerous for you, too. <laughs> right, let's see the sexy stats. Yes, let's look at these sexy stats. Okay, so... Six interceptions! You did I'm not too surprised. You did good, too. You did good. Thank you. <laughs> 583 yards from 68 rushing yards. Yeah. Well, I had more kick returns than you. Probably because I scored so many times, I gave you the ball back. Yeah. Right. The only time I ever scored was in that f that first quarter. So, all in all, final analysis. Uh, this actually could happen. <laughs> I'm not going to be surprised if it does happen because at this point in the season with the Giants being as bad as they are, it could be expected. Um, I don't think it's going to be. It might not even be 59, 59 points for the Broncos. I wholeheartedly believe that the New York Giants are going to get 7 points and that's it. I think it's going to be like 42-7. I don't think it's going to be 59. Nah, I'll give it like 20, 28, like 10. Giants. That's actually. I true. mean, not Giants, but Broncos. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's, I'm glad we cleared things up with that. Um, no, that's actually a very reasonable score to give them, being fair. So, that does it for this week's edition of Simulation Saturday on 
uh, first, first time I ever played, played on Madden 17. Uh, join us next week when we tackle a great game, actually. The Atlanta Falcons at the uh, New England Patriots. All right, cool. So, so that sounds like it could be a Super Bowl matchup down the road in the next couple of years. It might have to be the Pats because half my fantasy team is the Pats. Pats. <laughs> right. So without further ado, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to follow us here on Twitch, you can. We also encourage you, for those who do, find us on YouTube. Subscri hit that subscribe button, that bell button, so that you get a notification every time we post up a video. Leave a like, leave a comment, find us on Facebook and Twitter. And we will see you guys next week, same time. Later. Later.